I think Don Lemon and Tucker Carlson should start a podcast. That's, that's a great idea. Oh, that's what I said, like first take. Yeah. So I said, said I'm buying the kid. I'm you buying said the, the kid. same thing? Yeah. I said Me too. I, I said that, I think. No, you didn't. We just gave I was you the idea. I, I was talking about my wife. I think I said it. No, I said it should be like first take, but there has to be yeah. a producer like, listen, yeah. he needs to have his take. You have your, you can't shout over each other. Here's the thing, Don't shout over each other. The thing that I think that that's all, this is all perception. First of all, Tucker Carlson, the what, because we saw those text messages he said, it's nuanced. I didn't see it. If you're a if you're a fan, if you're like a fan of uh, of uh, Tucker Carlson, and I don't say, watch the news. I don't look at shit. Let's say you're. A I talk Trump. about pants. If you're a Trump supporter, <laughs> you're like an eight year old chick. I know. I don't give a fuck, bro. <laughs> it's sad. It makes me sad. I'm sorry. I know you're hot, it's but it's sad. No, it's Life is easier that way, though. It's just, bro. Yeah, I don't. I wish to, I was that. I feel bad. bad. Yeah, no. Sorry, fuck no until cool. you bring something up, and then you don't know what people are yeah, talking yeah, about. Yeah, and then I'll talk about pants. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> he just makes it about this pants. This is what happens. Yeah. Go ahead. No, but what I'm saying is this: if you're a fan of Tucker Carlson mm-hmm. and Trump per se, mm-hmm. you think that Tucker Trump? Carlson now, is speaking, <laughs> and Tucker Carlson is <laughs> speaking for you. Yeah, you're one of these people that thinks, "Oh, he's my voice. He represents us. He represents us." And you see these text messages. You're like, oh. If you don't feel like a fucking fool, ooh, 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 what are they? You know, oh, he's like this guy's an idiot. Who Trump? Yeah, really? Yeah, all, all of Fox, like was, except for Hannity. Hannity's uh, Trump's boy, but all of them were like, God, I can't believe we have to cover this bullshit. You, you, he's such guy? a fraud. Yeah, like yeah, yeah because out. he was. This is why because they're getting they got sued by a, a voter machine company. Yes, in, I, in I, de- know this, I know this. All right, and they they, they settled, settled for like seven hundred million, right? They, and another company suing them too. They're going to settle with that. Which more shit's going to come out. The which reason is why, why they had to settle is they were like they probably didn't want any more discovery. Yes, they were like we got to settle this, and then they fired him because they were like, look, dude. Yeah. All I'm saying is. He th- that made me go. Oh yeah, this dude is just doing this for the money. Oh, a hundred percent. But like, you, like, you know like, that because of his bow tie. But no, no like, he started to allude to that though. Pr- before getting fired, he was saying like, and he's like, in some of the stories I report on, I don't feel that way. Yeah. And the big farm, I we had to, it pays a lot of the yeah, bills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I was pushing a narrative that I didn't always agree with. And you're like, oh damn. When did he say her. that? Literally last week, mm. he was at a conference I giving think he a knew speech. This was coming. He knew it was coming. He was like, so, "Some stuff's gonna come out." I didn't feel a certain way about some of the stuff I was reporting. No, but if what he, I'm saying, I'm sorry, but it's like I, WWE no, politics no, or WWE. I know, but is what I'm saying is, big. if you're one of these staunch conservative right wing people mm-hmm. who was like, "Fox is giving me the," you if, if, if either you feel like a fool, you should. You should feel like a fool. Well, on because either like side these guys are like, it, right, exactly. Even both if sides. you're even both yeah. sides. So what I'm saying, the reason why I'm bringing this up is I'm saying like, I think I think Tucker Carlson and Don Lemon would be like, oh man, it sucks working for a big news corporation, right? Because you can't really. See, I think Don Lemon's gonna come out, and you don't realize that he's a dude, even though he sucks wiener. He's still a dude. Like he's, I think people are gonna realize that he's not far left. Yeah, he's like yeah. the more you get, he talks about this stuff, you're gonna realize, oh, he was just pushing the the line. That's what he's doing. Yeah, he's think, pushing the the company. I think it's just int- I think it's fascinating, you know, and also no one's bigger than no one's bigger than the company. Tucker is. See, I disagree with you. No, he's not, dude. Uh, Look you get the ratings. Have you forgot what was the guy that got fired? Um, What's his name? O'Reilly. 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 Remember him? Yeah. They'll find another one, yeah, man. They will, they will. Oh no, they'll they find will. another they one. Will. But they the difference between it's, like it's like just like a podcast. If no yeah. one's bigger. Well, if t- if Tucker <laughs> you know what I mean? But if, the the difference between uh Don Lemon and Tucker is Tucker, his ratings, the, the even if half the fan base goes with him wherever he, he's gonna go somewhere because the other thing people aren't paying attention to, which is I think one of the biggest uh kind of signs, his head producer who wrote all his stuff left with him. Was like, Yeah, let's go do whatever new show we're gonna do. I know if Tucker but, but, played oh. it right, he would just say, Great. Now I can be uncensored and talk about what I want on my podcast, on my thing. Come on over and and you know, he's going to go to money. Rumble. They're going to well, whatever it is. Yeah, whatever, whatever, they're yeah, back at the Brinks trip. Yeah, yeah. Rumble is. He'll be on. Rumble. I know, but what I'm saying though is, I do. He's not bigger than Fox. I no, know you he, think that because O'Reilly yeah. was also. O'Reilly times was, are different though. He was the biggest thing. Times are different well, though. I, I how, how long ago was O'Reilly? A long Years, time. I mean, things are just different now. But that I think no matter how you feel about it, <laughs> I think now there's a huge opportunity for somebody to come out and be like the straight up news where they're not biased. They're not pushed by pharma. <clears> there's l- where you get legit news. They don't pick a side. I, I think, think there's a huge happen. opportunity. That once you get once Breaking you get, Points is doing it, and they're the biggest p- political podcast in the world. They're massive. Yeah, but once you get the money involved, it fucks everything up. Unless you're unless you're a subscription based yeah, you know, channel you. And Which that, breaking and, points and is. that's never going to be bigger than free TV. No, no, no. That's it's my not. point. Though. It's not. Yeah, it's never. It's not. I don't care well, how viewership big viewership wise it will be. Yeah. Maybe money won't be. 
Because no, Fox, no. backed by Murdoch, he has, I don't know what, if viewership. It, I yeah. mean, yeah. Oh, dude, know, viewership. I mean, we do as much as CNN as far as viewership goes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, Golden Hour? Yes. Oh, yeah, I know. I know. CNN. Yeah, I know that nobody watches CNN. Yeah. <laughs> nobody watches CNN. No. They don't. They don't give no. a fuck. Because they're fucking horseshit. <laughs> but, but both of them are horseshit is the point. Well, I like think Fox, Fox is it. Yeah, Fox is trying to become more moderate, which is they're saying is fucking their actual real fan base. But yeah, I don't I know. Just, I just feel like I would be so like. I'm smart. I just would be so upset if I'm like, you know, you're, you're, if you're, if you're one of these people, like I say, you're in middle America mm -hmm. and you're just like, you can't wait to turn on Fox to yeah. your Tucker. Yeah. You know, and he's like, uh, Trump, 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 and all this stuff. And you're like, yeah, Trump's the best. You and see then, the text. And then you see the text. <laughs> like, and then it's like, what do you think? I really want, like, if you're a, a, a conservative, mm -hmm. I, we have a lot of those people that watch this show and you're more welcome. power to you. You know what I mean? I'm not. They I, work for it. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> hey, listen, I would like to know how you feel about it. I would really like to know how people feel about like seeing those text messages, and they tried to spin it too. Well, it's out of context. What? <laughs> but but I bet most of them are like, yeah, we know he obviously probably doesn't feel like that 100. percent But at least he's pushing the narrative that we wanted. Smart people, which is stupid too, because then it's like, don't you want to? It's like so you don't want everyone to be challenged. Yeah. I'm just saying, if you're a kind of person you just want to be in an echo chamber, mm -hmm. then I agree. Then you're good. Mm -hmm. And you think he's a hero then, because you think like no matter even though it was against yeah, what yeah, he yeah. did, he did was right yeah, for America. Maybe yeah. you feel like that, but to me, as a person that's like I don't, I don't ride either side. I just kind of like I just want to hear the facts, and then I'll make my choice. You know, either way, I just feel like I feel there's, people I'm pro. there's people I'm getting fine. There's people getting fine though. Like Crowder's a beast. But look at look at this is the whole thing when I went to the Dylan Mulvaney thing, which people are fucking saying like you can't tell someone's crazy just by looking at him, and it wasn't because the person's trans; it's because look at him, you look at Tucker Carlson, look at him, <laughs> you know that that dude would do that. Look at him. Correct. Who wears a bow tie? <laughs> look at him. Yeah. He's a guy that would be like, oh, oh, but the money, you know what I mean? Or yeah. you know, oh, I don't really believe it, but let's push that. <laughs> like you know, fucking look at him, bro. It looks like he goes like this at night. Go to the Forbes. The, in the, his, the, in I see bad doing it. Cash. I he never, is doing it. Yeah. I don't even care about that. I like to go to like the Forbes uh, uh, list of like top paid anchors. And like I remember, remember Glenn Beck. Yeah. yeah. There was a year he was like it was something on the Forbes list. He was making like eighty million dollars. Wow. And when I saw that, I was like, oh yeah, I'd bash Obama too. Hell Fuck, yeah. Fucking <laughs> Obama's my arch nemesis yeah. you know if that I mean? happens, dude. I'm like, oh, you make it. You make it eighty million dollars a year? Hell yeah. Okay. Oh fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> you just kind of go look at the, look at that list, man. Yeah. Matt Lauer was on there. Like I, and this is what I think is wrong with the news, right there, man. I mean, mm -hmm. like, like if, what are you supposed to do? But they're going to have to change because ratings are so low. On the some advertisers of them, yeah. are like, dude, I think there like, is a change quit. coming. I just don't know when. It's coming now. Yeah. Like we're in the middle of it. They'll find a new guy. They'll find the new guy. Fox gonna, will. Yeah. yeah, they're gonna. That's gonna be. You know, he'll say whatever that they need the people to say. People are gonna be like, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Here's Art now. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna be. You know, listen, man. Look, I think I just think that the dude, the fact that he had those texts and stuff is really what messed up the whole thing. Mm. I think they just went too far. It's not even his fault. Fox News should not have allowed them to push that. Georgia ballot, the the, the, the agenda of yeah. he didn't really win, yeah, and, and then and then, mm. they shouldn't have done that mm. because you're messing with people and because you're gonna get the <laughs> masses like that. yeah it was fraud right right know. right they shouldn't have done that they man. created a monster you're they saying created yeah. a monster they, they created a monster and he was back. just going with it he right. was like yeah. all right well I guess right, you know, right, we have to right. do this and now they're using he's him the as a scapegoat of course he's the fucking fall guy of course he is his stats are funny though he's like God Trump's a dumbass really oh yeah all of them were just like Trump he called he called one woman a cunt. Whoa. In his text that made me like him. I, I, me too. I was like, I like that. He's the, a dude. No, no, but it, I liked him. But then I also thought, I said, ah, oh, you're you don't really have a lot of integrity because yeah. now you 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 put yourself in a position where the money was more important than anything else. But you know what? I don't know what I would do in that situation either. You're talking about you know people think. <laughs> it's funny. People think that about me now because what? of what do you this mean? podcast. What? what do you mean? So what I'm saying, I'm saying it's like you, look, they don't know Eric Griffin. Then. I'm saying it's like when people think money is involved in something, no matter how much money it is, they question your integrity, right? Yeah, of course. But I put anybody in any situation, $20 million? Mm -hmm. You're talking about generational wealth mm -hmm. to uh, go on TV. Oh, I'd be on it. On, on a dress. Whatever Couldn't agenda. Like. I, I'm, it's crazy to think like, it's like, that's why, that's why I, I yeah. still, I firmly believe that the news shouldn't be for profit. 